The PT Pertamina of Indonesia is regarded as one of the largest companies in the entire world. It has consistently generated billions of dollars of revenue and provided tens of thousands of employment opportunities for Indonesians. In 2021, Pertamina reported a stunning 57.5 billion US dollars, a figure that triumphs any other Indonesian company. This was led by the company's production of oil and gas, along with its distribution business, which is spread across the archipelago nation. Finally, while Pertamina is known for its oil and gas business, it also has operations within the renewables sector. The company has a big stake within the geothermal business and solar power to biomass and biodiesel. Most importantly, however, is that it also has been developing local-based electric vehicle charging stations. Pertamina's history, on the other hand, dates it way back to 1957, when British company Royal Dutch Shell's assets were nationalized. This paved the way for Pertamina to become a state-owned enterprise. Throughout the life of Pertamina, the company would merge with other companies. It would also create and buy out smaller companies in various industries, which further led its brand to continuously grow within Indonesia. In 1974, Pertamina produced over $4.2 billion worth of revenue. By 2006, it would be over $21.3 billion. By 2013, it would hit its highest ever recorded sales, which it published over $70.9 billion. And by 2021, it would become $57.5 billion. The collective contribution of Pertamina has paved the way for a huge miracle for Indonesia. Not only has it produced these big figures, but it has also produced energy, provided productivity, and enabled Indonesia to grow to where it is today. Its adaptation to renewable energy is proof that the company is also seeking to change its ways, to enter a cleaner world, and be less reliant on natural resources, a commodity that is known to be limited. Finally, while Pertamina is known in Indonesia, it also holds key stakes across the world, most of which, however, are investments made within other nations' oil and gas industries. Anyway, what do you think?